Let me tell you guys something right now. I love my mustache. You mm-hmm. know that. Mm-hmm. It took me 43 years to grow it. <laughs> and But let me say something right now, dude. If I were going to shave it, you know where I'd go? The store? Nah. Nah, not the store. Are you out of your mind? I don't know. Maybe CVS, you drive your no, car there? No, I don't drive to the store for that. <laughs> oh, okay. Then. No, there's a better way, dude. Okay. Dollar Shave Club, man. Oh, DollarShaveClub.com, dude. Okay. They send razors to your pad, bro. <laughs> and the best ones, right, Georgie? Yeah, sounds like the smarter choice. Touch my yeah. legs. How smooth. Very smooth. <laughs> but how, how hairy were they before? What? Oh. Real, uh, she was, it was very Chewbacca-ish. <laughs> Her hair. Leg hair. I was going to go racial on it, <laughs> but I edited myself. No, man. I would... DollarShave.club.com all day, every day. You guys okay? heard it. So for a limited time, new members get their first month of executive razor with a tube of their Dr. Carver's shave butter for only $5. Best a shave week. butter in the business, by the by. Tastes better than real butter with free shipping. And after that, razors are just a few bucks a month. There are no hidden fees and no commitments. Cancel any time you like. Join the club today at DollarShaveClub.com slash belly. One more time, that's dollarshaveclub.com <laughs> slash belly. Yeah. Great shave at a great price, Shut conveniently. Up, <laughs> Shut up, George. <laughs> Let me say something about I only said it because he said it, Kay. <laughs> Beach body. Beach body. Let me say something right now about my, my body. <laughs> my body is the opposite of beach body. What mm. my body is um, my body is a donut body. Ooh, <laughs> donut right? body. But I'm in the summertime, mm-hmm. I want a beach body. And you know what I'm gonna do? Beach body on demand. <laughs> <laughs> every day, every day, man. Right? Yeah, right. I mean Tell me about Beach Body on I, Demand. Okay, look. I have I've used all of the P nineties. I've done all of the insanities. I love Shanti. I love Tony Horton. Oh, Shanti. And so this is basically a one stop shop for all things beach body. You have access. It's like a Netflix of workouts. So if you sign up, you basically have access to at all times to a bunch of different workouts. Yeah, which is amazing. I mean, convenient. Uh, people have always asked me, uh, "How'd you lose weight?" And for real, I've used Beachbody, P ninety X, Shanti's Insanity, and T25. then most recently when I dropped twenty pounds for pilot season, I used T twenty five. Yeah, I Shanti. love T twenty five, and it didn't work for him. This it didn't. Season, I gained so <laughs> much weight. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't book anything, but I know. But I, I look good. As, I got a beach body. I yeah, got rid yeah. of my donut body. That's true. I didn't book, but I got a donut. Yeah. I got rid of my donut body. Yeah. So, uh, guys, this is a brand new service, the Netflix of the best fitness programs. There's already a million subscribers. So, guys, claim your three, uh, your free 30 day membership, and just text Belly to thirty 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 and get a full 30 days of access to this entire program. That's a really good deal for free. Ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. That's text belly to thirty thirty thirty. I have a little jingle I just created. Oh, okay. Mac welding for t- oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. A, uh, one, a two, yeah. a three, four, five, six. Mac welding for daily wear. Mac welding for daily wear. Oh, it's the best. <laughs> the shorts. Yeah, yeah. The I got the short. Yeah, remember we underwear. got the shorts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, and the underwear. Ones. The most comfortable. Like, dude, you wear Mac welding, bro. It's like you're naked. Damn. But you're wearing clothes. Mm-hmm. People don't judge you. Futuristic. No, it really is cool. It's it's linear. It feels n- normal. What the fuck does linear mean? <laughs> it, uh, well, that's exactly what it means. I really like it because Bobby and I can actually share the underwear. We wear the same size. And I yeah. like that the band is really thick. So it doesn't give you like a muffin top. And it's very, very becoming for the woman's body as mm-hmm. well oh my favorite are still the shorts I, I like every time i get home i switch out of jeans and put on the shorts oh yeah you have the shorts too yeah i don't i, I wore the shorts the other night yeah i really like it it's very comfortable mm-hmm. uh also uh i haven't i'm gonna get these i ordered them is the silver underwear silver and this basically what they do they're anti-microbial is that how i say oh, anti-microbial it's the future, it's the future it, anti-microbial it says right here they eliminate order uh odor oh. <laughs> Odor. So basically, if you Order. fart, I think if you fart, yeah, it comes out smelling nice. That's my. Maybe that's what you need. <laughs> get the silver. A underwear. fart filter. So guys, get your Mac Weldon. Go to macweldon.com and get twenty percent off using the promo code Belly. Once again, that's macweldon.com and get twenty percent off using the promo code Belly. Belly. Two. Yeah. Snippity snap 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 snap
beat a pop a boot a bada, a beat pop, beat a pop a boot a bada, a beat pop, candy, lollipop, beat pop. The 50s would have the best music. <laughs> the 50s, they talked about pure things. Doo wop. Doo wop. They talked about getting together. They talked about dancing. Picnics. Right? And now it's all negative. Music today is all about, I'm going to kill your temples with my fucking gun. <laughs> Whoa, what song is that? Well, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But like, you know, I'll shred it. Shred your pussy. You know, oh, oh, yeah. Jiggle, jiggle the butt. Jiggle, you know, and then they, the butt. Yeah, yeah. The and butt. then they wear fan. They have these hipsters. They have fancy mustaches. They go out into the desert and they go to Cuchola, Coachella, Coachella, whatever, Coachella, and they 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 hit on girls. They give them drugs, purple pills. What's the purple <laughs> pill, right? And then they pass out and they do a little jiggly jig. Jiggle and then, the butt. But then, the, the butt. And then they feel great for a weekend. But then, boom, they have to go back to Best Buy. Oh, <laughs> they don't even work there. They just they just wander the hall. The they, halls they of Best Buy. There. They don't even work there. Yeah. I mean, so, you know, I don't go to the desert. I don't do Coachella. You don't jiggly jigs? I don't jiggly jig. I don't <laughs> do wop. You know, but I wish I remember the old days. The 50s. Those are the good days. Remember? I had a dream too, Richie. Oh, La Bamba. yeah. L it's not Lambamba. La remember La Bamba? La it's La Bamba. Yeah. His brother. Lou Diamond. I had a dream too, Richie. Wait, what's the actor that plays Lou Diamond? Isai Morales, bro. Yeah, he was so hot. Yeah, Isai Morales played Richie Valens' brother in the movie Le Bombo. <laughs> <laughs> and um, and I remember, and he was a cartoonist in it. What right? you, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he played it, and then he, he didn't make it. And Richie Valens made it. And he goes, I have a dream too, Richie. And he cried. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That really touched y me. Lou Diamond is part Filipino, uh, right? A fourth. Oh, that's fourth? it? Yeah, yeah. Bobby was trying to tell me the other day, he was like, yeah, Koreans, you know, we have the best UFC fighters. Like, who do you have? And I was like, um... Mark Munoz. <laughs> we yeah, have but, uh, Robbie Lawler, John yeah, Dodson. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah, but you guys are naming, and my argument is, is you're naming half-breeds. It's like when they say, Rob Schneider is Filipino. He is, He's but quiet. is he... <laughs> I think you know, Jewish, is he? but is he, though? He looks yeah, like, yeah. yeah, he does He's not full, all right? It's like Tony Thornburg, the model. He's half Chinese. But is, is he? he? <laughs> no. He's his own your creation. Hybrid. Hybrid. Mm. So I was asking what full-blooded We have Filipinos. Um, Folayang, who, who fights at 1FC. Folayang? He's, he's a champion. <laughs> yeah. We have a but lot of people here's the But here's the argument you that you made. Is, is that you have the best fighter in the world. Manny, Manny Pacquiao. Pacquiao. So you win there. Mm. Yeah. Okay? You win. He finds every... Avenue to like shit on my people. No, no, no. Here's the thing, and this is what I wanted to talk about. I forgot because I, I I read a comment on um, Instagram, and it says, mm -hmm. "Does Bobby Lee hate white people?" <laughs> and I go, I, I I really it broke my heart when I read it. Yeah. Because I, I embrace them. Mm. I love them. I would be I would be nowhere without them. They are my comrades in the war of life. Mm. Keyword comrades. They're, They're my your comrades. equals. My, we're equals. They're not your bosses. They're not my bosses, no. We're equals, okay? I love your people, the Philippines. <sighs> no, no, I'm telling you right now. I really do. Without you guys, I would be nowhere in life. Okay. In fact, I want to say that about every race. Mexicans, we'd be nowhere without you. Blacks, nowhere without you. We're all one. I'm a good guy. Mm. And I know when people say that I'm a good guy, out loud, that means that they're not a good guy. <laughs> But I'm just acknowledging the fact that I'm aware of that, right? So I am a good guy, okay? Mm, okay. And two years ago, I helped a retard cross the street. Oh, <laughs> um, what happened? It was a midget. That's not a. It's, <laughs> but not that's, the they're physically same retarded. Way. That's mm, well, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Whatever. The I helped him. Yeah. I carried him across the street. Mm. He's like, get. Hey, put me down, put me down. I go, no, I gotta, I gotta, <laughs> I go, if, I gotta help you, sir. If put I, me down, put me down. I'm a lawyer. Yeah. What are you doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. it was Peter Dinklage. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'd probably help you cross the street if I saw Yeah, you. I have little legs too. Yeah. Well, that's why I relate to them. Your proportions are a little but strange. But I, I, you so. know, I love the blind. Uh, okay, the blind people are good. I love the deaf. They're good uh -huh. too. I love I, all, I love deaf. all people. And when I see movies with horrific, horrific things, mm -hmm. like grenade babies and Vietnam movies, mm. I don't know I, what those are. The little babies used to, you know, they used to put the Kong. What do they call them? Viet Cong. Viet Cong. The Viet Cong. <laughs> you had the Kong. Yeah. They used to put little grenades in their mouths. <laughs> Is this a valid historical? And they used to crawl formation? into villages and blow them up. What? And when I see that in movies, 
when I see it in movies. I think that's a figment of your Maybe. deep imagination. It might be. Because that just sounds awfully that's fine. training that's fine. babies to hold grains and crawl. Yeah. No, I don't believe that. I don't believe any. Well, human no, they maybe being have them in a that. carriage and they throw them. In. I don't know what it is. I think you dream shit maybe up. Maybe I dream Bobby. shit up. But I'm, if I do see that, if I did see that, I would be broke, heartbroken. Um. When I see, like, I know you don't like this word, and and oh. I, and, and I know you don't like the <laughs> word. Her face. But, I don't know what the word uh, is yeah. for her face. I know you don't like this word. Um, and this is really from my heart, so I have to say it. Okay. I fucking hate rape scenes in movies. Oh yeah, I told him he wasn't allowed to talk the R about word rape. anymore. Mm-hmm. Like when I see a rape scene in a movie, I have to turn it off or fast forward. He has to pause so he can nut Whoa. in his pants. <laughs> you know that's that's you know that right there when you said that like that. That's really rude, <laughs> and it goes against my spiritual, you know, being. Mm. You know what I mean, Gilbert? No one's gonna crucify you for thought crime. There's no such thing. I know, so but anyway, I so have that a, white person just that okay. white person said that does Bobby Lee white like oh, I, yes, yes, he does like white people. I love, I love. He doesn't hate you guys. I love everyone. I have another thing I found on an Instagram comment which I found um, particularly amusing, and I have to bring it up. What? Okay, so this guy wrote you. He says, <laughs> Bobby Lee, Ronda Rousey and me are huge fans, but your comments oh, about God. her coach and Ronda were out of line. We love your comedy, and you sh- <laughs> but you should stay away from fight strategy because it was disrespectful. Me and Ronda and Ed are looking forward to attending your live podcast, um, but an apology would be great to fix the issue because... Okay, okay and so I was like, this it's person not is, is yeah. not real, and then- but I checked <laughs> Side? Yeah, it's fucking real. Rhonda follows him. Yeah, yeah. They're friends. He's part of the camp. But okay. I also don't believe, like, for I, in my opinion. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, don't be sorry. Your, your opinions are your opinions, right? My my thing is that's not a good look for her. I think she would be perturbed that a friend of hers would write that. Yeah. I don't think that she would co-sign with that, with with that at all. You're, you, you know, it's a. Uh, She's a revolutionary kind of a person. Without her, there would be no women's MMA. Mm -mm. And she is um, a legend. And also, I think, here's what I always think. Like, you can have a lot of fighters say, oh, you know, she wasn't a good sport, or we know exactly how she feels. No one knows how Ronda Rousey feels. To be in her position was a very unique position, to be the first female face of that sport in Mm -hmm. such a big way. Not No, no... GSP John Jones could even relate to being a woman and being in the spotlight like spotlight like she was so I, I don't think it was an easy spot and I think it's easy to shit on her you know because she's lost but I think she's you know mm-hmm. I don't think that you should apologize though for your comments I think that person's a little bit of I'm a, sorry you really are yeah your prediction was correct though Amanda Nunes I picked wrong yeah I, I I'm sorry I maybe was a little hostile. I'm a fan. <laughs> and please don't come to my live po- podcast and hide me or whatever. Sir, please don't come to our live podcast. <laughs> okay. Rhonda can come, but this guy no, maybe not. No, fine. I, 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 you, you're, all is welcome. Yeah. What? You just said don't come. <laughs> uh, I mean, don't come. I mean. <laughs> don't come. Don't come. Okay? Don't come. She can come. She can come. And I want to say something to um, the writers in, the, in LA and the studios and all that. Work that shit out. Oh, is there another strike? Yeah, right? there's a strike looming. Work it out, please. Gosh. Because let me tell you something right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come on, writers. I did a pilot. Mm-hmm. And if the writer strike happened, I'm gonna lose this fucking pilot. Okay. And then I might indirectly kill a writer or a producer. <gasps> Allegedly. Don't Allegedly. Do Allegedly. Thought crime. It, thought it, crime. It's, it's only in the thought. I would never kill yeah. anybody. I physically yeah. wouldn't be able to do it. I can't believe this is happening now. <laughs> in I your know. career. <laughs> it's fine. So what's on our agenda today? Well, I want to talk about. I'll tell you what my agenda is. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a couple of movies I saw as of recently. Okay. That I'd like to talk about. Hmm. Okay. The first one I saw is a movie called Split. Ooh. With uh, Ewan McGregor. What's his name? James McAvoy. James McAvoy. <laughs> <laughs> He's good, though. He's good. They're both good. Mm. Yeah. Ewan wasn't in it. He was not no. in it. No. So here's my opinion about that movie. Okay. I'm watching it. About f- an hour in, I... I push pause I look at Kalila and I go yeah I'm not into it mm. oh spoiler alert a spoiler is coming no I, you know what I won't even do the spoiler oh okay I won't even do the spoiler that's a change okay <laughs> and then like 30 minutes in 
I was like, yeah, for sure. This is not good. Mm. And then the end happened. A switch. A surprise. I've never seen a movie where I went 180 like that. Where till the very end? It was like I was lukewarm about it. Like, I, I don't, you know. And then when I saw the ending, I, I look back at what I saw and I go, that could have been the best movie of the year. <laughs> Oscar. I mean, I literally, when I saw the ending of it, I pushed pause. I put my hands over my face because I thought I was going to weep. And I curled over to my side and I went, oh my God, I can't believe it. And then I, a couple days later, I texted Steve, my brother, because my brother had seen it in the movie theater. And my brother goes, that was the hardest thing to do. What? Not tell you what the ending was. <laughs> <laughs> like he had to like, he yeah. had to like meditate and pray about not telling me. <laughs> what? Because I remember him watching the movie that I go, that movie can't be good. But Bob, the ending's good, he said. I go, no, it can't be. There's no way. But Bob, and he was going to say, say it to me then, but he's disciplined for the first time in his life. Wow. Yeah. So, um, they, yeah, that movie was the most surprising ending I've ever seen, and it was really um, a good. I liked mm. it. Mm. Then I saw another movie. What's mm -hmm. it called, babe? Oh, is it the Herbalife one? Yeah. Oh, oh it's yeah. called Betting on Zero. It's, it's, you know what it's about? Herbalife. <laughs> no, I don't know what Herbalife, I didn't know what it was. Mm -hmm. I'd seen like jerseys, like, you know, like LA Galaxy has Herbalife on their jersey. Mm -hmm. Sponsors. Yeah, and they have, um, Chelsea had it on their jerseys. Yeah. And it's, it's a pyramid scheme. It's like a multi-level business. Yeah, that and sells, a lot of Mexicans. Like, nutrition products. A lot of Mexicans got fucked. Yeah, so basically the documentary, it's more than just that. The documentary sort of goes into the fact that um, Herbalife targeted undocumented um, citizens or uh, undocumented people to basically put all their money into a business that wasn't going to get them and they weren't going to get the money back. So it was a fucking pyramid scheme because they were completely on the bottom rung of everything. And these people put like hundreds of thousands of dollars into it of their own mattress money because, I mean, these are undocumented people. And they couldn't even go to like the Federal Trade Commission or like complain because they were undocumented. And a lot of people were getting very rich off the backs of these like poor citizens. So basically it's that. But it's more than that because there's this guy, that guy Bill Ackerman. Yeah. And then Carl Icahn. I don't want to like spoil it. Let's not but spoil it. But I want to just Very say interesting. This. Is when you have a business that you make your income based on recruitment and not mm. the actual product, product, right? That's right. It's it's a pyramid scheme. Yeah. And these Mexicans, right? So you come to this country, right? Mm -hmm. And you're like, all right, so what's so funny? There was a tonal change in your voice. I tried to do kind of do an accent. I, I was trying to, but not. <laughs> it's like yeah. halfway. Like, I was half, <laughs> I, half committed to it. Like, yeah. But now I'm self aware of it, <laughs> so now I can't do it. Mm. So let me just start over. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm a Mexican. And I'm thinking about, hey, so, uh. <laughs> <laughs> He tried, he tried, yeah, he yeah. tried. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, what is a Mexican? Yeah, so, so, hey, um, so um, I have to order all these products and then, but order, in order for me to make money is I have to, um, 10 people have to join and they have to be below me. Sign up under Sign you. up under me, right? And then those 10 have to sign another 10. But imagine coming to this country, you know 20 people. Yeah. Half of it's your family. Mm. Uh -huh. So you're like, you get your family involved and all your friends, but then they're <coughs> under the pressure of like trying to get other people. Mm -hmm. And then it just causes resentment and anger. And not only do you lose money, but you lose family and friends. I just, pyramid schemes in general, it's a genius guy if you're in the first top three. <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. If I joined Herbalife in the beginning, mm -hmm. maybe I wouldn't be complaining about it. You but know what? And that's true. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? So I 10,000 people below me, I'm a like, eh. We have a friend whose parents are really high up in Amway. Yeah. And essentially, it's the same thing, right? It's like a multi-level type of company. And they're on the top tier of it. They're like what you call like the equivalent of Herbalife's president's thing. Yeah, They're yeah. in the diamond. Diamond, And yeah. so they, th my friend's parents are wealthy, but they, that's really not how it works if you're joining at the very end of it all, you know? So if you're going to join a pyramid scheme, join in the beginning. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Don't wait until like five, five years later. Five years later, ten yeah. years later, right? Because then you're like, you know, a part I of always, the masses. I, and I had a lot of friends a couple of years ago that were selling a lot of Herbalife products, you know? And I always thought to myself, that, that seems like a waste of time and yeah. but a lot of them did it 
And I'm so glad I never got suckered into that. It just seems yeah, silly. Yeah, because it's also, it's like, I know where to go to get my, like, nutrition. Yeah. You know, in, in L.A., we've got a lot of little startup juice places, right? Mm. I like, I like, um, what's a BK? The, the um, John? probiotic. Oh, that drink. Probiotic drinks. Yeah, that probiotic like, one. BK. Oh, BioK. BioK. Yeah. Why did you look at me like I was like speaking? You were like, like, like <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But you're like, you like still know. We're, we've been dating for four years. Yeah, you, you should know, know the secret language. Well, you should <laughs> also. <laughs> yeah, BioK. <laughs> but obviously. <laughs> right, obviously. Right? Yeah. Like, I know what E3 Live is. Mm. It's an algae. Oh, like, uh, you're just trying to fucking show off your fancy terms. If I didn't know what E3 Live is, like, I'm a lesser human being than you. That's not what I'm saying. How fucking what, dare what is you? E3 Live? What is it? It's well, an it's thank algae. You for asking. <laughs> it's algae. Thank you for asking. Oh, it's he's trying to get us, George. It's pyramid scheme. No, I generally don't know. <laughs> yeah. E3 Live's algae. It's an algae that's like found in like these lakes in Washington or whatever, and they um they scoop it up. Not just Washington, all over the world. But I get mine from Washington. <laughs> <laughs> She likes to organically source from Washington. What is your problem right now? Everything I'm saying, you're against. Uh, you're God. provoking me. <laughs> you know, don't provoke me. <laughs> but I'm just saying that, like, you know, if I want, like, you know, a protein drink, I know where to go. Yeah. Right? So what's this other sh Herbalife shit? It's, it's powders. I don't even know if the product itself is good. I'm not yeah. sure. Have I've never it? heard of it. I've never had it. Had it or... So what happened, there was, the story goes even deeper because then my sister and I were like, oh my God, doesn't my ex sell Herbalife? So I have an ex who sells Herbalife. So, and Bobby's like, does he? So we go into his account and then we go into his girlfriend's account and we're looking at it like 52 weeks ago, going that deep to look if she sells Herbalife. And we found out that she does and I accidentally, my sister accidentally double tapped and, yeah, and then she now she would like their photo. Yeah, now photo. I like oh. my my ex's new girlfriend's yeah. Herbalife yeah, yeah. photo, which is like and fifty two weeks old. Fight. It was fucking crazy. <laughs> and I wanted, dude, my sister and I almost fucking got into it because I couldn't unlike it after that. It's like yeah. that's just weird. She's just... notified, and now they're talking about it. Yeah, like, why did Kalila do that? But also, I dug that far deep into it. That's pretty strange. <laughs> yeah, and it, of all the pictures to like, it was an Herbalife <laughs> photo because I wanted to feel good about myself. I'm like, oh, this bitch sells Herbalife. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this dumb bitch sells herbal life. So I got that confirmation. I was like, oh, she's a nothing. And then <laughs> if you saw herbal life, just keep working hard. You'll get to the top. <laughs> but then uh, my sister double tapped, and it's just awful now. Oh, wow. Yeah. You know, it's tricks in this world. People just want to get ahead and make money, and they take advantage of people. Uh, yeah, it's really know? sad. But I want to talk about this business, Tiger Belly. Mm-hmm. This business is growing slightly. Mm -hmm. Slightly. It's <laughs> <laughs> a good word. Yeah. I mean, we put out some work into it, mm -hmm. and um, there's some payoff a little bit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, but it's still difficult for me to even talk to people about it. Really. What do you what mean? Do you mean? <laughs> well, if I like the other day, I was in a room in the main. I was in the green room backstage at the main room, and I saw Joe Rogan and Bill Burr were back there. Mm -hmm. Let me say hi. But in my head, still, especially with those two, there's a thing in my head that's like, I don't belong here. You know, I'm just, I, it's mm -hmm. in my head. It, it, mm -hmm. it has nothing to do with reality. Mm -hmm. It's just a little tape recorder that I press play when I'm around certain people. And it, you just go, you, they see through you. They know that you're not legitimate, you know? But then you like, hey, hi, you know, you hug them, or whatever, and they, they're happy to see you and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But I can't get myself to go, come do my podcast. Because you're just never going to be that type of person who asks. Yeah. Ever, ever, ever. You're just not that type. We've asked you. Like, you've had people in front of you say, hey, Bobby, let me do your podcast. And you said, okay. And then I remind you, hey, sweetie, text so-and-so who wanted to do our podcast. No, I can't ask. They asked you first, and you can't even ask them back. Yeah, because there's a there's a, there's an expiration date on that. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. If you don't do it, okay, so if they do it in yeah. one week. Like you're talking about Stephen Yoon. Yeah, Stephen Yoon. Just fucking say it then, lady. He said, I'd, I'd be happy to do your podcast. And you were like, cool. And then you just never hit him up again to ask. Because it's... Um, Expirations. Expiration date. And also, I don't ever want to seem like I'm needy. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, I need you to do it, please. The, the only reason why Jordan worked was because he had texted me the night before. Mm -hmm. Right? And he was like... He alluded to the fact 
that maybe he would want to do our podcast. Mm. So I, it was like a window that I was completely open to me. But here's what and also I'm also very close to him. Mm. Well, we true. were, you know, so I know him. But but you but have like to with think Stephen Yoon is like I've I've you know he knows my brother and David and stuff. But and I, I whenever I see him, it's very pleasant. I really like the kid. He's a talented kid. And he's nice. It's just that I just don't know him the way I know certain people. That's all. Yeah, but it's you. You also, you have to also think of it as we don't need anyone in this podcast ever. We right. do just fine, you know, just the four of us. But yeah. so you have to think about it that we don't need these big people. We want to have them because he is Korean. He is relevant. He is going to have the types of conversations that we like to talk about in the podcast about being a minority and stuff like that and being in the industry. The, those things are things we'd like to talk about. I understand that. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make you a promise, guys. Okay. And I promise I, I have a feeling that maybe if things go well, that this pilot that I did got gets picked up. Okay, <laughs> I do. I'm, I'm only mentioning it. Mentioning it mm -hmm. is because at that point I would feel like I have more power to do it. So to call Eric Stone Street and go, hey, can I do it? You know. Can I also ask you a question? I feel like I'm not. I, I feel like I, I need to get invited into the club. I don't think you'll ever feel ready for that. No, you're I, very self. You know, how do you say it? Like you. I, I think even if you were at the very top of the game, you're always going to feel that little voice. You hear that little voice in your head that tells you you're not in the club. You're just that person. No. Stop. I've been to the club. <laughs> and you got kicked out of the club? No. Yeah, I got kicked out of the club. <laughs> what club? That's what I'm saying. <sighs> Listen to me. Mm. There is a feeling and a part being a part of a club that you just, I don't, I know that I'm not will ever feel like I'm a part of the club. I just want to get the invite. Okay. Oh, I see. So once I get the invite into the mm. club, I'll stick my toe in and go, Hey, I'm back in. Mm. Right. Just to let people know that, Hey, I got access after to a d decade of not being in the club. I got myself back in the club. club. Yeah. Mm. Right. And then I will leave. You're like, where'd Bobby go? I go, I'm out of the club now. <laughs> Because the show got canceled, yeah. <laughs> right? But what I'm saying is, is that there is a feeling, and and I understand. Like when I see someone like Ron Funches, Funches mm -hmm. right? He's really funny. He's very funny, and I love him. Nicest guy in the world, right? <clears throat> but he, you could tell in his eyes, right, that he's a part of the club right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I and I look at him. I don't say it out loud, but I give him a wink. Like you're in the club. <laughs> no, I'm not in the club. Oh. But I go. But he's I, in the club. I know. Oh, Lydia I know, him, where, no, yeah. I know where you're going. Mm -hmm. You're going right now into the club, huh? The clubhouse. And then he tells his friends, Bobby keeps winking at me. Yeah, Every time I so see weird. him, I right, think he right. wants to date me. And what it is is this, is, is that there are just things that you get, right? Like, I'll give you an example. When I got this pilot, I went to my uh, trailer, and I just had boxes of gifts. Like what? From my agents. Ah. Uh. Right? They give you a scooter or whatever it might be. I've gotten scooters scooter? before. I have. Shout out to Razor. Right. I've, I've literally gotten a scooter before. I don't like, know I don't, scooters come in this. No, they, they give you a card where you can <laughs> go to this. Oh, you have a number one. on it, buy right? Mm -hmm. And you can go, this is my code. And then they deliver it or whatever, right? I just don't want to ride a scooter because I'll die. <laughs> <laughs> That's a death machine. You know? you're, a, you're, you're a careerist then. You're one no. of those people who your self value hinges on the work that you're currently no, getting. No. That's why Macaulay Culkin left the business. He's because he was because he was born into the club. Oh, yeah, yeah right. but he, he he no here, baby. You're not getting what I'm saying. Okay, all I am saying is is that it's like I just want to go in one more time, right, and look at people and go. I remember me I was once here and I came back and now I'm leaving but just let them be aware that you know I might be back again can I say something yeah. as being a really avid ex club goer yeah the people that get in are the people who show who, who don't show that they want to get in they don't show a neediness there's always the girls who are wearing super super like tight stuff and the dudes who are wearing you know they extra shine their shoes with the button ups and those are the people that you know you don't want in the club the ones who get in the in club in that scenario you know what I am 
I have no skirt on. I have just my pussy hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> You're that desperate to get in the club. It's like I'm on my back in line yeah. with my fucking Labios lips. open. My lips open, <laughs> right? And yeah. anyone, it doesn't matter. Stick your feet in. I don't care. Stick your feet in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but it's always the people who look like they don't need to be in the club but, who get into the club. But here's, but here's a secret. Mm-hmm. Here's a secret for you. People believe, I think, mm-hmm. that I'm not desperate, even though I am. So I've been able to hide it. But sometimes I see you, like, when you see... Go ahead. <laughs> say it. Say it out loud. Like, when you talk to Joe or Bill Burr, like, you, there's an extra like your voice be- becomes higher and you're gonna hey! you turn it to George <laughs> you turn yeah, yeah, yeah. it to George Kimmel hey guys and, I, yeah. and, I'll, <laughs> and I'll nudge him and I'll be like don't be needy yeah, yeah, go. what's up <laughs> <laughs> you okay Bobby don't, don't talk about the UFC with him yeah 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 just be cool bro yeah one time my brother when my brother was drinking and he'll admit to this yeah he was at the comedy store and Rogan was sitting on a stool and my brother was drunk. And my, when my brother got drunk, mm-hmm. he became very brave. <laughs> he, goes, As a, he goes, hey, man. And he goes, what's up? Cook a guy up with some tickets. <laughs> and Joe stood up and he just walked away from my brother. And you could see my face. Veins were popping on my fucking oh, head, man. man. I was furious, right? Mm. Here's another time my brother. I was hosting the Asian Excellence Awards. Mm. And Ralph Macchio was there, right? <laughs> Karate Kid. Yeah, so Ma- Ralph Macchio is sitting backstage on a couch with Danny DeVito. I'm not fucking <laughs> kidding you, right? Interesting. Chair. And my brother's drunk, and he every maybe minute, he would slowly creep up to, <laughs> I swear to God, like Ralph Macchio. What the fuck? Go, yeah, karate kid. And then walk back. <laughs> and I grabbed him by the arm. I go, Are you tr- you're fucking drunk. He goes, yeah, I love him. I go, I love <laughs> fucking see karate kid one more fucking time. <laughs> right? I swear to God. It, my brother is infuriating when he's drinking. <sighs> Have you ever had one of those moments though, where the next day you're like, "Why did I act like that or say that?" Who me? Yeah. When? I mean, have you? I'm asking you. Have you ever had those moments? All, every once a week. <laughs> <laughs> every day, I say, baby. <laughs> I, say, I say things once a week that make me s- sleepless at night. I said something just now to a friend that made me second guess. Like, who am I? What'd you say? Because hey, I haven't say, spoken hey girl, to hey. her. I haven't spoken to her in six years. So I was like excited. I grew up with her in the Philippines. And before I hung up, I was like, you know, we'll keep in touch. Okay. She's like, yeah, let's keep in touch. We have each, uh, you know, we just get, text or call me anytime. Oh, I will. I will. You better believe it. Like, and I said it. Whoa, I like, how you said it? <laughs> what the? She said it like that. And I was like, she was like, text me anytime. I was like, I will. I will. You better believe it. You better believe it. <laughs> you. Why are you shaking and I was your like, so why? You're lying. I swear. You're not going to text her. No, sweetie. Something came out. I was like, why did I sound so creepy like that? You better like believe that? it. You better believe it. I you sounded like, it. I said, I, you know, you better, yeah, it, I sounded like George Kimmel for like five <laughs> seconds. Why, why, why yeah, is no, every time anybody does something bad? I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why, man. Tiger Belly Theory with Bobby Lee. Because you're just socially awkward, my friend. And here's the thing. I just can't get this thing to your head, man. <laughs> what? This Tiger Bell thing, look at me right now, is getting to your head, man. What do you mean? I'm going to say it, all right? You're getting a little confident. As if that's a, a bad thing? thing right? That's Shut a good thing. Up. I swear to fucking God, man. <laughs> Sorry, George, we can't defend I'll you. I'll never fucking do that again, man. <laughs> I just Sorry. Like inner fucking venting, man. Oh, all right. Okay, okay. Sorry. Snap, 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 snap. snap. Right. Snippity snap. I was a shirt tucker for so long. I get to be myself again. I'm just I slowly pulling that, back out of my I shell. I was. See you. I had to be in corporate to culture me. for so long. Remember this <laughs> taper. I see you, and I'll always be watching you. Okay, because your strut. <laughs> you mean some of your like the other night when he brought that crew to the Ontario Improv. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He feels like he's a leader. I am. A leader. He was a leader in that in that situation. scenario. Yes, <laughs> I understand. That. <laughs> right, but it's the blind leading the blind, my friend. Mm. I mean, they know they're not blind. He's blind. No, oh, they're not blind. They're about, okay. Yeah, it's the blind leading the seeing. <laughs> so, <laughs> so wait, what? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And that's yeah, what's yeah. sad about it. Don't bring them into your deafness and blindness. I'll bring they know. They already see where they're going. Okay. So watch yourself. I wa- I'm see. I watch you. I see you. 
Your hair is different. You know what I mean? Oh man. If you gave him a make, if you gave him a makeover to be the best George Kimmel he could be, what like clothes wise, like hair? Here's what I would do. Here's exactly what I would do. I know where he would start. What? He always starts with the jeans with everybody. Oh, it's got it. Yeah, jeans is number one. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, so what I would do is you don't like my jeans. No, they're okay. Actually, can I be admit? They're okay. They're not the best. What we got to do is this, and this is now, I'm going to sound like a fucking hipster. Yeah. Okay. But we got to go and get you some raw denim, preferably from Okinawa, Mm -hmm. because they have the best raw denim. Mm -hmm. Very thick, weighted denim. You don't wash it. We'll get you some Converse. Mm. I'll tie it in the back of my Prius. Yeah, those aren't the ones I was talking about. Mm-mm. Still Converse. You know, if, if you ever fucking do... <laughs> did you see what he just did? <laughs> I was wearing he, goddamn I, Converse I, and I you said to get no, Converse? Not that, not that kind. That was a blind guy putting his feet on the table. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would glow, grow your hair out a little bit. No mm. beard, though. I like this length beard. No, I, I like, like the, the beard. beard. Mm-hmm. I miss That's the good. beard. Yeah? I like yeah. the beard, too, yeah. I think you're so much more handsome when you and have you some scruff. You don't tan. See, when you pretend you can tan, and that's why you're so pink. <laughs> you pretend you could t- Yeah. He wants so you to be stay, deathly pale. Stay cap Kate Blanchett. <laughs> oh, that's it. Don't go pink. That's in right. Because now. it affects your dick. And that's why you, <laughs> that's why we call you pink dick. Okay? So stay your, and I know and I know I cause I've seen your dick. All right. I, I've seen your dick. Yeah. And I know that you tan that shit. You tr- attempt to. For real, George? Yeah. I, because no. Look, what no dick is that pink. <laughs> Blood goes into it. Of course it's twenty four seven? No. His di- Bobby's uh, dick. <laughs> Well, that was the origin story of the pink dick. Yeah. <laughs> Bobby's got a super pale dick. <laughs> it's very. It hasn't seen the sunlight in twelve years. Is it the same as this skin? No. You're, oh. Wait. No. When it's excited, it just like loses all. Uh, I its w- color. No, it's this. And I, if you any anyone see the movie E.T., mm-hmm. mm-hmm. everyone saw it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Remember when E.T. was sick in the river? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Remember he was going, uh, you yeah. know, and flowers are dying. Yeah. That's, That's my dick. That mm-hmm. coloration. Like a dying alien. Mm. Damn. Yeah. Is your scrotum? Um, my scrotum is a disaster. In colorway, coloration? Yeah. It's just a nice gradation. I always, you know, I've said it. I'll say it again. It's like... <laughs> it's like... Neop- oh, I have to talk about my boyfriend's scrotum again. <laughs> it's like a Neapolitan <laughs> ice cream. <coughs> yeah. It's, what do you got, mean? it's tricolored. It's got strawberry, chocolate, and vanilla. I like all three flavors. <laughs> you bet I will. <laughs> <laughs> you betcha. You. Your shirt. I like that shirt. What is it? Scarlet? Emma, Emma, Tilda, and Matt. So what is Emma? Emma who? Emma Stone. For for what? She played a Lala Japanese woman. That's right. Woman that's right. A half Japanese woman for that Scarlet, movie. Scarlet, Ghost in the Shell. Ghost, Ghost in the Shell. Shell. Tilda for in the Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange. And Matt and Matt for, uh, from uh, the Great Wall. Yeah. Mm. Whitewashing. Mm-hmm. Whitewashing. Um, Have you seen Ghost in the Shell? I will. I won't. I refuse to watch. Is it good? I didn't see it. I, I yeah. I, it's, it looks very pretty. I, I'm sure it sure, is. Yeah. And, yeah. But you know what? I I was I said I would refuse to watch Do- Doctor Strange, and he did, and he yeah. liked it a lot. Did, I'm I gonna say this. It. I'm gonna admit it. Tilda Swinton was I liked her. She was very role. good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, no one doubts her because the acting Genghis chops. Khan was in it. What's his name? Oh, uh, um, Benjamin. Benedict, Benjamin. Benedict Benjamin. Benjamin. Benedict Wong. Benedict Wong. Yeah, Benedict, Benedict Wong. Wong is in it, and he made up for the fact that I'm like, oh, it's a pretty good part, mm. and his presence Legit, made it yeah. seem like they were all Asian. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah. But um, you know, whoever gets uh, Akira, you know, m- better make it all Asian. I'll tell you that right now. Yeah. Better make it all Asian. There's a, all they're, Asian. They're talking Japanese. about a remake of Akira. Yep. How are they going to redo that world? I don't know, but I I kind of know the person that might take it over. Oh my Ooh. goodness, that's interesting. No, that's a true thing. Yeah, I know, but I'm just saying that's a big task at hand because that world is so difficult. It's a very difficult story too to do. You have to rewrite it. Yeah. Yeah, it's very difficult, and um, but it's also neo, uh, not neo, um, post-apocalyptic Tokyo, mm-hmm. neo J- Tokyo, cool mm-hmm. motorcycles. So if they make it neo LA or neo New York, it's not Akira, and I'm gonna fucking go ape shit. Oh, you're oh, saying it has it. to be in Tokyo? Oh, it has to be in Tokyo, in my opinion. Yeah. Right, and they're gonna try to switch it around, and it's so funny because like I t- kind of talk about it when I'm on stage. About stuff like that, mm-hmm. and people don't give a fuck about just um, inter- white the whitewashing and those kind of casting. Like when you see white people, they don't, they're not aware of the fact that it's wrong. Mm. They go, yeah, 
We saw it anyway. Like when they make decisions like that, they just see it anyway. Mm. Right? And because they know the studios are on for... I'll tell you why. As a group, we're too separated. The Filipinos stick with Filipinos. Oh. Koreans stay with Vietnamese, what whatever, saying. right? And second of all, we want to acclimate them ourselves into... We don't. We want. We want to just be invisible. We just want. No one does really know that we're here. We're just working. Mm-hmm. We're just happy to be here in this country, and we don't have a civil rights leader. Ban Ki Moon. No, but we don't have George like Takei. No, mm. we need a Martin Luther King. Oh damn. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's, that's right. Tough like an time. American. No, George Takei no, is pretty close. Martin Luther King, but Asian. Mm. And he does a speech like Martin Luther King, but with an accent. And well, he's. That's, I'll department. tell you how it sounds like. I have a dreaming. <laughs> yeah. Hey, who's this guy? <laughs> I have a dreaming. The white people will do their own laundry. Okay, this guy's clearly, he's clearly, right? clearly, he's clearly Korean. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and then I think that that's what we need. Well, what would he have to be? What if he's Korean and like... Korean? No, he's got to have four. He's got to be a quarter Vietnamese, mm-hmm. a quarter Chinese, mm-hmm. a quarter Filipino, and a quarter Korean. No, it, well, you got to put Japanese, Japanese, Japanese and Korean, Korean there. Yeah, all right. So quarter Japanese... The Korean, they're the same. Well, don't tell them that. No, I'm just saying that <laughs> J- J- Japanese people and Korean people are from are descendants from Mongolia. Mm-hmm. We have the same DNA. Or whatever. But you forgot the Indians, Asians, South Asians. <sighs> oh come on! <laughs> come I can think of their own continent. I'm okay. Yeah, they're their own thing. Oh God, they're South Asia guys. If you go to iTunes, right? There's Asian cinema, cinema and then there's Bollywood. Bollywood. They're yeah. separated. Oh, that's that true. That leads me to a question. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, Bollywood. Fi- okay, <laughs> oh, George, oh, oh. George worked go. in Bollywood, guys. Bollywood yeah, films. They often remake uh, American films. Yeah. With an all like uh, all Bollywood cast. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What do you think of that? Uh, Indianizing films. Because I'll tell you why. They're not going to make right, um, a movie about Abraham Lincoln. Oh my God. And cast an Indian guy. What I'm saying is, is in terms of stories that have to do with real people or characters, they should just make it, you know. That's true because, like the but, Bollywood movies, they always like sense and sensibility. It's a very yeah. they usually have a very universal, easy love story theme. They're not going to do, and, and they're and they're not going to try to make Huckleberry Finn and Tom Sawyer. But like, if Akira is switched to New York and just taking the story, because it's because but you it's like it's like saying taking Huckleberry Finn in mm-hmm. India, right? And just calling it Huckleberry Finn, right? Okay. But then casting Indians in it, but you're in fucking the South of America. It doesn't make any sense. But you also have. To but then if you switch it to India, it's not Huckleberry Finn. It's, so don't call it that. It's Punjabian. So yeah. you can make Akira, but don't call, call it Akira. Akira. Okay. You it, you also have to understand what Akira. <laughs> you look so angry right now. I just now. get so angry because you try to test me, man. Because Akira was <laughs> a really I'm big curious. deal. I'm honestly curious because I don't mind it at all when Bollywood does it. I worked on the remake of like because U-turn. you already know that you guys are in 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 terms of perception and how you feel that you're number one. White people, I'm sorry. Disclaimer: but, He and, loves and, white and, people, and, by the way. He I loves love white people. But I'm sorry, <laughs> but I, 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 you you might not even be aware of it, but you're just born entitled. So yeah, in your like in your like little liberal whatever your head, you're it's like no big oh, deal. I'm fine with it. Yeah. But you're born. With this gift or this this mantle, right? Well, we're not born with it, so we're more aware of it, fucker. Yeah, yeah. It's and also you have to you understand. Piece of shit, man. <laughs> but we that, appreciate your work on this podcast. Yeah, yeah we so do much. appreciate you, George. You think you're Schindler, huh? <laughs> See, I don't think he said that. <laughs> you think you're Schindler? You're not. <laughs> He's looking at you. Okay, you're one of the other ones. Where's the list? Still top five, my favorite movies of all time. Great movie. Schindler's List. But you're not Schindler. Mm-mm. You're a part of the. You're a good guy, George. You're part, no, you're part of the regime. No. No, what? He's not he's part, not of, the part of the regime. When I say, when, if I said he was Schindler, that he'd be a good guy. He's not Schindler. He's a part of Hitler's regime. <gasps> George is not. He's so kind-hearted. Just, look. Yeah. Just because of my haircut right now, you're gonna. You are part of the. I'm sorry, I take that back. That was crazy. <laughs> you look. It was pretty crazy. Statement. That was really crazy, was crazy. What I just said. I don't know why. I, I... see, guys. I check myself. True. You know, I have this self awareness. I fucked up there, man. Some people are oblivious. Yeah. Some people are oblivious, my friend. He went wild. Let's talk about Heaven's Gate. Oh my God! I don't you know about it. No. Uh-uh. You don't know what Heaven's Gate is? We we were listening Generally. to Sword and Scale. Shout out to the Shout best. Shout out podcast. to Sword and Sh- Scare. Well, <laughs> scale. <laughs> no, not, not, the, not the movie. 
Not the movie, no. Okay. No, the cult. The cult, Heaven's, Heaven's Gate. Gate. Mm-hmm. You know about them? A little bit. It was they. They were in San Diego. Um, they were found in a mansion. Mm-hmm. Thirty-nine people. Thirty-nine dead. Nine people. They were all wearing purple robes. They were all wearing black Nike shoes. That's pretty cool. And they all had a roll of quarters. <laughs> okay. On them. Mm-hmm. Because it's the only way I think they can get onto the co- co- comet. Did to pay in quarters in yeah. American currency? I think so. Yeah, and they all killed themselves. Why the Nike shoes? It's trendy. Well, I, I, well when I no, it's not because it's trendy. They like the they like doing re- research. They like the motto um, "just do it," mm. Mm. right? And um, they believed in that they could spiritually, if they killed themselves, so you know that uh, what was the comet called? It was called Haley's. Uh, maybe Haley's comet, not Haley's. It was no, something else. Um. I forgot what the comet. Com- look it up. Yeah. Anyways, but they but there was a comet coming, and or, you know, and they thought that they when they killed themselves that they their souls would enter a spaceship that was following the comet, and they'd be extraterrestrial um, beings. They could be right. It's a Haley Bob comet. Haley Bob comet. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, Heaven's Gate was a a big cult, and I I'm creating a cult here at Tiger Belly. Ooh. Mm. How do we die? <laughs> we're writing a book. We're gonna write a book, yeah. mm-hmm. and we're, we're gonna really mm. write a Bible. We'll release mm. it, and we're gonna release it. And uh, we've got commandments. But we've got ways to live. But definitely no mass suicide. That's just There's silly. No That's no, hacky. That's hacky at In this fact, point. You're chastised if you died. Yeah, like you're not. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You well, he's dead. Die. Let's chastise. Yeah, we'll chastise you for life. Yeah. But there's all these little rules, and um, name some rules. I want to hear them. Well, I am not. I'm just a prophet. Okay, just a prophet. I'm just a but prophet. I'm not, not here. Deal. I'm, but I'm equal to everyone. I'm not the leader. Okay. Okay. I'm a symbol. Okay. Okay. Like prince. But you still have to worship me. <laughs> oh. All right. So we worship an equal. We're equal, but you still have to worship me. And when we get our um, compound, we will have a compound, mm-hmm. and we will have um, things that happen. Or do the men live separately? Because you know, in Heaven's Gate, they weren't allowed to engage in sexual activity. There is no other men in there. Oh, it's all women? Well, you two. That's it. What the fuck? <laughs> so it's just us and women. So it's a sex dungeon for you. That's not a sex dungeon. No. He's baby, I'm heter- I'm, baby, I'm monogamous to you, and you're my light. Okay? But, you know, in my vision, I, it's not me. It's God. No, everyone's in. <laughs> I, I can't help it. I receive the information through God. and you So know. it's still, well, it's look, still God. If we're going to be cult. a legitimate cult, we have yeah. to allow all men because 80% oh, of our involved. listeners are men. They'll be, they're not in the compound, but they'll be involved out in the fields. In the field? What are they doing in the fields? They're picking things. Oh, okay. Not cotton. Okay, well, yeah, that's yeah. my worst fear. Lint or something. Out of belly buttons. No, I'll just throw <laughs> things out there and you have to pick it. <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't get it, Sam. Why are we just picking up his trash? Listen, <laughs> I don't want to reveal my, I don't want to reveal my new religion and my cult right now. All right, I'm in the process of communicating with God. Okay. And he'll give me the inspiration and it, and he'll write it through my hands. Can I just ask one thing? Yeah, go ahead. I'm interested. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Can you give a little bit about the afterlife with your cult? Oh yeah. Oh sure. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so it's like herbal life. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, You'll sure. be reincarnated. Oh. Okay. But in the past. You know how what, you, what? you get yeah you know how you, you pe- let people believe in reincarnations like this oh my god when you die and then in the future so I can be, be a dolphin in the 1950s I already know I'm gonna tell you what you're gonna be what oh am I gonna the be? leader tells you what oh. you're gonna be oh. yeah, yeah through yeah, yeah, visions yeah, yeah. you're gonna be a don't tell me I don't want to know my my destiny yet okay. I'm not I'm ready int- to I'm hear interested it interested in my choices you're you're gonna be a whole. <laughs> uh, excuse me, uh, leader. You're, May you're I clarify if this is a glory yeah, hole yeah, yeah, yeah. or what kind no, of hole are we talking like, about? A you're hole in be, the ground? Well, I, all I'm going to say this: you're going to be a fantasy fuck hole. Okay, well, that's and that's your name. That's my worst nightmare. Fantasy, fantasy fuck hole. <laughs> yeah, what, what decade though? You said in the past. So what? Oh, I'm a fuck hole in what? A thousand years. You're ago. a harlot from like medieval days. Yeah, definitely. Okay, Game yeah. of Thrones shit. Game of Thrones shit, and um, the Scottish are involved. A yeah, Scottish. Scottish men are involved, and you're just going to be. You're gonna be in a cage, as a whole. As a whole? <laughs> yeah, you're. Yeah, well, they're not gonna see your face because we can't. Have oh, that. I'm still a person. You're a human Just being. A whole. No, you're a human being. <laughs> okay. But we cover your human part. So, yeah. <laughs> what are these your, sentences? <laughs> it's not a sentence. It's a fucking gift. <laughs> you're giving, dude. So if don't die, then. Oh God, <laughs> don't so... die. But when you get reincarnated into the past, okay. right? You're you're just gonna wake up and you're just gonna be in a cage. Okay. 
and your face and your body is covered except for your butthole. And you're constantly in a bent over position. Oh, my oh. God. Right? Just listen, right? Jesus. And it's a cage with no bars. Basically, what it is, it just has your ass cheeks. Sticking out, right? <laughs> of a box. My really. butt is not that wide. Please right, narrow yeah, it. Yeah, 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 whatever. Don't. Look at his hands. Right? Yeah. It's ridiculous. Were well, they going to feed you a lot? <laughs> Through my butt or my mouth? Through your mouth. Thank you. Really <laughs> yeah, fat. I don't know what you're. You're going to be really fat because you're going to have these gigantic butt cheeks. <laughs> right? <laughs> right. What? And there's going to be like fingernails sticking out of them from other people. Oh. Whoa. Yeah, I know. It's, gonna be, it's not going to be good. <sighs> right and they're just gonna just like grab it with their fingernails and that's what I'm gonna put on uh, we're gonna have a sign okay. if you're gonna grab these chicks use your nails <laughs> okay that's not a god yes. vision that's you so, now no, so it breaks that's up. not god's vision <laughs> you're adding this sweeter so it breaks up right like you know the well in uh, Silence of the Lambs okay <laughs> They're just gonna just no you, no condom no sheepskin nothing. nothing. You you're just dig raw dog and, and they're just gonna ka, 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 you know, and there's gonna be miles of people. Okay, <laughs> and that's you. And we have to accept Wait, this on. afterlife. But the yes. whole community only has one fantasy fuck hole, so they all have to fuck him. You, the whole country, Scotland, <laughs> Scottish, yeah, all, all, all Scotland, <laughs> and also some Irish and some English. Why is it Europeans? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> But you're just gonna be this fucking fantasy fuck well, There's an example, yeah. folks. So that's one example of this new religion that we're creating. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's a great one. I'm not. I'm not that sure. You're I incarnated in the past. I'm keen on this. Yeah. I was really excited before this. Now. <laughs> oh, you? Oh, I don't want to talk about you. <laughs> you don't want to talk it's about. It's gonna be it. kind of the same thing, but in the dinosaur age. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of yeah, dinosaurs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And straight dinosaur claws into his butt. Yeah, shoot it's gonna side. be T Rexes and all kinds of shit and your fucking shit. Oh man. Yeah. Anyway, what do, where are we at time? We're at an hour. We are mm-hmm. already. Or like a fifty, I guess. Yeah, fifty. Oh. Is that really? good? That's good. We're ready for what the question. What the fuck? Or do I'm you guys have, any, do you have anything else we why, have to why share? Why are you ready? What do you have something to share about? You had a, no, you had a no, dream, no. didn't you? You had a dream. No, no, no. I had not. I just didn't realize that that much time had elapsed. Uh, we just talked about Grand my fun. incarnation <laughs> for an <laughs> hour. <laughs> yeah. Ready for the question? It's going to be devastating okay. for you. For me? No, for, for me. Him. My butt cheeks. God, I hope my destiny is a lot calmer. No, yours is great. Satin. Like all that. Satin in the prairie. No, in the ocean. <laughs> so you're a coral. You're I'm a coral a fucking, reef. Yeah. I'm like a fucking um. What do you go? Giant clams. No, you're a human being. You're just gonna be floating in the ocean. <laughs> Dead. Dead? <laughs> Attached no, to I'll a ball much and alive. chain. Thank you. Go ahead. Armless pirate lady. Unhelpful advice of Bobby at Kalila. Hi, Kalila and Bobby. I said an unhelpful advice last year about moving in with my long-term law student boyfriend. I wanted you guys to know that we ended up moving in together, and it's going very well. That so was against our advice. That was against you. So was it? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Proof that do not take our advice. <laughs> Anyways, my new helpful advice career is uh, related. Wait, what? It's career related. I have a BA in economics, but realized post-grad that I hated working nine to five behind the desk. I was making good money in advertising, but I started getting really depressed from the corporate atmosphere. I've been thinking about moving into the fashion industry for a long time because I make all my own clothes and I love to sew. But it was the uh, only recently I was convinced by my parents to get behind convince my parents to get behind me to pay for fashion school i'm really excited about the thought of either working and starting my own clothing company or also working on sets like uh westworld how mm. cool would that be anyways i know you and bobby also love fashion so which of those ideas do you think i should per- uh, pursue entertainment fashion or own clothing line you could actually do both both right, right? Yeah. yeah you can do both um all i know is you should just do what you want to do because it's, you have one life you have one shot and to see these people go to work doing something they don't want to do you know is just really heartbreaking for me you should do what your heart says you should be free what do you think babe I think I mean, that George she's did it yeah she sounds like she's killing the game she's already she knows all about advertising already because that's what she did for a living so she has that in her arsenal she seems like somebody who's proactive somebody who knows what direction she's headed she sounds like a bright girl i don't worry for her and i think that she can do both and be very successful at that i don't know i think that we could probably use some advice from her (laughs) not the other way around (laughs) because obviously i think she wrote in and we literally told her do not move in with her boyfriend and she did said fuck you guys and then (laughs) that turned out great for her so yeah, I mean, maybe, maybe you know, we should be learning from you. What would you rather do? Do like costume design on movies and TV shows, or would you rather just start your own 
clothing company. First, You're kind of doing it in a way, your own clothing company. No. For starters, I don't know anything about textile, and I know how to sew a running stitch, and that's it. A back stitch, too. Cross stitch, too. Actually, I'm okay. I can sew. Thank you for your resume. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, speaking of sewing, you got to fix my jeans. I got to figure that out. Uh, yeah, I'll fix your jeans. I'll no, we know it. we got that mail it to I that know, person. I know, I know, I um, know. I would love to do if I had the chops, if I had a skill, I would do um, like wardrobe, um, like set wardrobe. Set wardrobe. Oh, yeah. Denim repair. Ten denim repair. God damn it, Bobby. As a career? No, for me. Yes, oh. babe. <laughs> <laughs> Just look at you clean my denim. Yeah. And uh, any another question? Give us another one. We're a little light on questions because everyone was submitting for the. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. The yeah. live show. But yeah, uh, any shows for Bobby? Any other? Bobby, yes, I need. I need a big plug here. Yes, Bobby will be at. Magoobies in Baltimore, <laughs> Maryland. Real? Yeah, it's real. <laughs> People are going to show up to this. Not real. I've never I played this room before. Okay, oh. guys, if you're living in the area, you got at least one time come. Magoobies. <laughs> Baltimore, real. Maryland. Baltimore, Maryland. Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. I've never been there before, and if it's not good, I'll never go back, but I want my first experience to be somewhat around people that are familiar with my energy. Mm. Okay? okay, and I, if you're... If you even live an hour away from the Magoobies, right, <laughs> please come and support me. And in turn, when you do a recital or whatever, I'll be there in spirit. <laughs> <laughs> is it harder when it's the first time you've been in that market? Like, is it, do you not usually have a good turnout? What, what I like, no, it's never a good turnout. But what I like is people don't think that I do stand up. What? Yeah, because I don't it's have true. specials really? out in this, so people mm -hmm. go, he does stand-up. So when I do it, people generally go, oh my God, he's actually okay at doing it, you know? So I like that reaction. Mm. Where the club, you know, you can tell the club is like, is he going to be good? Because a lot of times, like, I'm not going to name names, but there are guys that um, have done television and film that think that they can do it. Mm -hmm. So they headline a room and they just can't do it. Mm -hmm. They just, you know, they think that their name will pull them through it. Yeah, and it's like it's a completely different skill level, really. You mm. know, not that I'm the best stand up, but I've been doing it, so I know how to do it. You know, that's all. Yeah. Any other shows? Then just Magoobies, <laughs> guys. We're really pushing for Magoobies. Um, we gotta push. We have Magoobies. more dates, but they might get either rescheduled or um, yeah, all that stuff. So I like don't. Like wanna... Edmonton, I had to reschedule because mm -hmm. of or um, love. Uh, yeah. And then um, I just really just really op optimistic about my life right now that's good that's good it's i've never been here before i've always been so negative about my life and i'm really for the first time feeling very optimistic about it and it feels it feels kind of good wow the first time a gentle leaving bobby lee everyone uh, George, any um, announcements? Kyla, anything that comes to your head? I have to pee so badly, but well, we, I'm not going to stand up until we get done with this. You can go pee. You sure? No, it's okay. It's okay. Okay, we'll do announcements no. quick then. We got shirts coming out. Uh, they Ooh. should be out by the time this is out. Yes. Yeah. Um, get them. Buy them. Buy them. <laughs> uh, they're, they're the Slept King shirts. You may have seen them. Yes. Uh, you can check them out on Instagram or anywhere else by now. Yeah, they're beautiful shirts. I mean, we got two awesome colors. Uh, what's the dark one called? It's not just black, is it? It's, it's heathered black. Heathered black, not just black. We hooked you guys up with heathered. Yeah. They're all tri blend, very yeah. soft, tri -blend. Uh, I like bright them. colors. And then if anyone questions you, like, oh, where did you bet that shirt? Did you just buy it off some random place? No, look at the back because it says Tiger Belly on mm -hmm. it. Tiger Belly owned. Yeah. And uh, we got really good advice from or feedback from our first run of shirts. Mm -hmm. And someone wrote us and said, hey, like, it would be nice if it was more personalized. And I agree. And so, you know, we're going to try that to be more personal the next time. Totally. But also, you know, since we we don't do our own, like, packaging and mailing ourselves, we go through, like, a factory who we like a lot. Mm -hmm. You know, we weren't... Um, um, we weren't in control of some things the first run, but this this run we should be. Yeah, yeah, we're improving better. every iteration. Yeah, sure. So, mm -hmm. And um, yeah, so if and there was some trouble with some people, um, some shipping abroad, right? 
a, a few, little bit a little yeah, bit but we took, um, we took care of it and the next round will be smoother sailing all around thank you guys for supporting yeah, us on so last we thank run. you so much that was really um those shirts were gone in a week and we really really appreciate it cool um uh, next up, uh, a while back we asked for iTunes reviews uh, mm-hmm. to get to a thousand. We're at nine hundred and eighty-one. Oh, so, so close. close! We've been uh, so close for so long. So um, it helps so much. Please, can we get uh, just up to a thousand? I wanted to get there a while back. I'm a little disappointed, honestly. But really, yeah. You can't force, you can't strong arm people to leave you <laughs> no, reviews. No, they've done, yeah, they've done so much else. Like, you know, they they did all the other surveys and stuff, so I can't be yeah. too complainy, but I want a thousand We want to hit a thousand, guys. Yeah, a thousand. So 20 of you, just leave a review. It'd be nice. Um, also, if you haven't, <laughs> be I <nice>. know. <laughs> like, this is what I do, and I kind of feel bad. Like, I'm, I, there's certain podcasts that I love, but I never hit the subscribe button. Mm-hmm. Um back in the day it used to be because i didn't want it to flood or take away from um memory or memory on mm. my phone right yeah um but then i realized that i was actually doing a disservice to the podcasts that i really love for instance like sword and scale mm-hmm. or other ones by not subscribing so what i'm saying to you guys is if you love this podcast and you listen to it every week just hit the subscribe button it also helps us um stay on top of or stay competitive if you mm-hmm. don't have memory on your phone just buy a new one that's <laughs> with the promo code bell <laughs> <laughs> um what else George? um i haven't announced it in a while so just a reminder that we do have a youtube channel if you're just listening to this we have uh vlogs on there mm-hmm. uh we've been pretty consistent on vlogs but uh shout out to kalila they're Cassim's favorite vlogs so uh just to <laughs> i'm doing a nicole kidman um do clap it, do the Botox face too. Oh, she's beautiful. I'm sorry. Botox or not, she's 49 years old and looks that good. Her and Keith Urban, good couple. Uh, Keith Urban looks like he's melting a little bit, but Nicole Kidman, not so much. Shout out to Keith Urban's <laughs> melting face. <laughs> and then uh, Nation Foundation. Uh, mm. That's right, guys. Our friend Kobe has um, an organization that helps um, kids in Uganda with all their scholastic needs. So if you go to nation-foundation.org and hit the donate button, we would really, really appreciate it. And we'll be repeating this every single week because he needs your help. And I think it's a really good cause. And um, we want to help support that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's for uh, helping uh, education. Yeah. Uh, I just gave fifty dollars and it feels really good. So uh, if Where'd you want to feel good, where did you get fifty dollars? Oh, you did. Yeah, he did it before the podcast. Oh, nice. I I'm thought you gonna... gave it to Kiva. No, I actually got my money back from Kiva, so oh, I have, nice, have it nice. to redonate. Oh, cool. <laughs> and uh, also, thank you for everyone for submitting to the live show. Oh, that's right. So, yeah. um, we're we. It's a small affair. It's still a very intimate setting. We got a ton of emails. So um, I did my, we did our best in trying to we pick, you know, indiscriminately as best as we could. Sometimes at random. Some of them, some of you guys really sent some compelling stuff. Either it was artwork, a video, or just some awesome emails. Um, those are the ones that we may be favored, but it doesn't mean that we don't appreciate all the ones that have written um, who didn't make it on our list. We have just a few left. So as much as I don't know if I want to encourage you to write, should we encourage them to write or should we just? Um, if you feel like it, right. But just know there's not, it's a very yeah, limited If you're space. feeling lucky and you, th- you think you can out, still maybe. get into yeah. the live show, um, by all means, write an email. And I might, oh, you know, I might feel extra charitable and just, you know, say yes. But the space is extremely limited. So um, I just want to put that out there. And to all the people that I haven't, we, we haven't replied to, thank you so much for writing. And we really appreciate it. Mm-hmm. Um, you Hopefully, guys, and if yeah. we didn't get you this time, we'll get you on the next show. Yeah. Hopefully, one day we have a venue that we can just have everyone come and show up. Yeah, it would future, be nice. Yeah. But we're keeping it small, and I'll tell you why we're keeping it small. We're keeping it small for no other reason than my anxiety. Yeah, I yeah. don't think Bobby's a performer, Gilbert's a performer, even George is a performer. He does improv, but I don't think that I can. Um, handle speaking in a room of like <laughs> he does the improv don't you go <laughs> but you could probably could. speak in front of hundreds of people whereas i think that um i you could too 
I could, but let's can, can just graduate slowly yeah. into that. True. Um, I and I I know that it's one of those shows that we would probably have to you know mingle and speak to everybody after. And even though I enjoy that, mm -hmm. it's very like a. Um, I, I love meeting people. It it just takes a lot on me physically like it takes a toll like i break out in like neck highs Dude, you're getting tense stuff. right now like watching her neck yeah it's, yeah it's yeah like, yeah. like touch my sweat. hand yeah guys uh the podcast like, her hand is literally soaked in sweat just i didn't believe that it. when you guys talked about it but uh, it's, look no, she's yeah. right now like, it's disgusting crazy but that's even me thinking about like i'm excited to meet everybody next week i just don't know why my body doesn't uh -huh. follow like my head is being positive but my body is like uh get me the fuck out of here mm -hmm. so um yeah so that's why we's keeping it the small affairs yeah. that's and the also explanation. there's a secret performance from the weekend <laughs> so, sorry if you that can't too. come post cello you know <laughs> post cello post cello the weekend <laughs> um anything else george uh that's all for me cool uh also really quick uh a little bonus at the end mma minute just a quick question to oh Kalila. my god robert whitaker let's really quick uh tune out if you don't like mma we're done with everything but yeah. really quick mma talk what are your thoughts on the future of the middleweight division 26 years old from tough wow you know what I had seen him um, fight Uriah Hall. Good fight. Oh. He fought. Um, who else did I see him um, fight against? I, I've seen him. I've seen I'll his reel. Up. Yeah. Um, I've been following that guy. He's. He is so light on his feet. He is. You know. You don't think like you think that Jacare is a big guy, mm -hmm. but Robert Whitaker is a big guy. See, this is the first time you you texted me. I was like, I always yeah. saw him as a one seventy because that's where he started. Yeah. But then. This is the first time I've seen him with thick legs, like a thick body. Before, he was fighting 185 early on when he made the yeah. transition. So small. So I was like, he's undersized. Was he 170 on tough? Yeah. Oh, that's why. But then he probably didn't have a choice. He got knocked out. Well, because he stayed in his career. He, he got knocked out twice. He lost to Wonder Boy. Yeah. He fought Wonder Boy, lost to someone else. And then he switched over to 185. And then after that, pff, yeah, the weight cutting. I mean, that has to be it. That's why he was losing. Yeah, I think that he belongs in middleweight, and he was so impressive. And I loved his post-fight interview. He was humble. He 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 gave it up to Jacare. Jacare. And um, I felt really bad though. So which sad. I, but oh my god, did you guys see the Michelle Waterson and Rose Namajunas fight? Yeah, shout out to those women. That mom. Dude. Oh my god. I I I felt so. I didn't feel bad because it's pretty bad. It was a badass fight, and I love Michelle Waterson. But when she was um. At the very end, when she was being submitted, and all that blood was gushing out oh, of her yeah. nose, her eyes were all closed up. Yeah, her kids there with her husband. But those girls loved each other, or they love each other. So yeah. it was really nice to see. Um, I I think Rose Namajunas is probably going to be a champion one day. She's only twenty four. Mm -hmm. She's so young. so young. She her growth is exponential. Like every time you see her fight, she just gets better and better and better. But she's so emotional. Win or lose, win or She's not. You know what? She used to be very emotional she when she was on the this. Ultimate Fighter. You that was the one thing that was my one critique about her is that wow, this girl really is. She has all the tools, put, yeah. the, the tools, the ingredients, like for physicality. She, but she couldn't get her emotions. Um, she, yeah, she was ran. She basically fought very emotional. But now she's really zen. Mm -hmm. She's really like even keeled. Yeah. yeah, I'll say it right now. I mean, when the time comes, I think there's still a fight or two before her championship. Uh, I think she could be the girl to take out Joanna if there is anyone. Not now, though. Not now. I'm just saying in a couple of fights. Dude, if, some, if Joanna loses, I think it's her. I'll say this right now. I don't think that the Jessica Andrade fight is going to be easy for Joanna. She can get knocked out easily. She used to fight 135. And she was knocking out girls at 135. Uh, yeah. So, um, I don't know. I don't think that's going to be an easy one for Joanna, but I'm still going to have faith in the in our polish girl um right. i think that's it for our mma minute um and i think that's it for this week all together yeah um thank you guys so much for watching and um we will see you twice next week Ooh. first for a regular podcast and another on thursday a for a special live podcast and so um so make sure you follow us on Instagram for all the latest uh, news, episode releases, and also like for merchandise. You'll you'll know when they come out on Instagram. So make sure you go to Instagram and follow us. Uh, and that's at Tiger Belly. And also check us out on Twitter for more news at the Tiger Belly uh, on Twitter. And then email us any questions. We've been getting uh, not too many questions of a, of a, 
as of late. So send us any questions for unhelpful advice or just questions. You can do that at uh, the tigerbelly at gmail.com. And if you'd like to mail us anything, uh, we love packages. We'll open them up uh, on our blogs. And that address is 1626 North Ooh. Wilcox Avenue, number 161, Hollywood, California, 90028. Bra, bra, bra. So make sure you follow Kalila on all social media at Calamity K. <laughs> George at Voted Best Tweets or George underscore Kimmel. Just find him anywhere. And make sure you follow Bobby at Bobby Lee Live. Bye. Bye, guys. See ya. Go the fuck up.